Another brutal day for the meme stocks today. AMC, GameStop both getting hammered. So let's talk about what's going on and how this affects the analysis. We have an uptrend shown. It's been broken. When you have a price passing through a trend like that, you want to see a one, two, three reversal pattern. Essentially what that is is a pull back up to or a throwback, whatever direction you're going up or down to the breakout price or near there too. 488 was the price at which we lost the trend. Price rose to 476, pretty close. And as soon as the price set a new low below 449-ish, that confirmed that downtrend. What this does is it breaks this uptrend and we now have to chart some longer term downtrend. Yes, we are officially in a new downtrend. This uptrend is broken, which means bullish price targets go out the window. That's the deal. As soon as AMC leaves an uptrend, I cannot be putting bullish price targets down because the analysis simply does not support it. So at this point, what's the deal? You'll recall that I had pointed out there was a danger of a head and shoulder top through here. This was also kind of suggesting that there was a symmetrical triangle with an overthrow at point E forming that head, which implies continuation and it was coming off a downtrend, so let me bearish. Now we're looking for a price target near 352, which is insane. If the price continues to fall below that prior valley that started the uptrend at this year 383 watch out seriously this is getting really bad really quick of course i think once the dilution happens and amc announces how much money they made from dilution and how much more of their debt they were able to pay off when they establish that they'll be in business for longer give themselves a longer chance to recover i think that will be good and that news could lead to some sort of bottom but until then, hey, we're in a downtrend. We have co confirmation patterns pointing down. The target's 352. The RSI is deeply oversold. Yes, implied volatility is rising. Volume's not super high. It's looking nasty out there for AMC. It's not a whole lot better for Ape. I have shown in the past an ABC push higher. This was a correction. And I'm actually learning that wave C does extend to 161.8 quite often. So this is a very appropriate target I had at 320. And we could probably do the same thing on the way down. We're going to find some support at 120, hopefully. And maybe that will end wave A of this ABC pointing lower. Okay, here's the thing. We get back-to-back three-wave movements like this, ABC, ABC. What follows could be a five-wave form, which here would be pointing up. And that would be still a corrective wave, but it would be pointing up and it would probably break that 320 high. So if you are speculating to the upside here, there is some hope, of course, when Ape is converted into AMC, it's going to mess everything up. So again, just beware. I just can't, cannot stress enough that, oh man, hedge your losses. Okay. Hedge, try hedging. If you're worried about Moaz and that prevents you from selling covered calls, Remember that you can buy a call with the premium from the profit of the call you sold. Does that make sense? You have 100 shares, and let's say you sell a uh, out-of-the-money strike for that expires next week. Well, you can buy another call option at, at a higher strike for less money. And so then you can at least pocket the difference in that cash, and that'll help hedge against your unrealized losses against those share, while at the same time, you're going to have that exposure if Moaz occurs, you'll be able to exercise the call at the higher strike, right? Use that logic. Use some logic. Help yourself out a little bit. Of course, that's not financial advice. That's just common sense. But what do I know? Uh, let's go to G GME GameStop. Not doing any better. Jeez, there is, of course, going to be some hope for a double bottom bouncing off that 1577. That won't confirm until we get above that $24 target. That's not even a target. That's just a confirmation level. The ugly double bottom, which I was speculating may occur, has a price target near 3290. We could still get up there if this bottom forms, but only if it forms. It's not there yet. Implied volatility is rising. Volume is decreasing. It's looking bad for these meme stocks. It's looking really bad. And even as I'm saying this, you can see against this yellow trend line and this white dotted line at the bottom that there could very easily be a descending triangle through here. That would prevent a confirmation of the target for the double bottom, but that's not to say it couldn't be a, a, a triple bottom either. Good luck, you guys. This is brutal. Brutal. At $2, I think, on AMC, I might buy in, and GameStop, maybe I'll buy back in at 10 but for the time being, I'm going to sit on the sidelines, and I'll continue to cover them for you. I will, so stay tuned, but really, my focus is going to be on SPY, Playboy, and SLV. So, actually, I'm going to go over to this screen over here. I want to start with... March 13th, we had a bottom form, I called it, we hit the target, 
We went sideways in after hours pre-market, which would lead to a, a, a strong impulse heading higher, which I called. Before that impulse ended, I said, hey, we're probably gonna dip. We dipped, we came back up. And this morning we found another dump <laughs> into these uh, support levels at 384 and 386. And I, and I cautioned at 386, we might see some more downside action. We almost reached a 161.8 extension off of this impulse heading lower. I'm calling this a, three, a double three where A, B, and C is followed by another A, B, and C. <laughs> So perhaps now we're going to find ourselves in a five wave form heading higher for a three, three, five correction. Now that five that follows may be a new impulse wave and we won't know until we get some retracements. Of course, there is overhead resistance at three, nine, five, but this is my target. The uptrend that we lost is just just above there so if some good news comes out we could see an explosion again we're ending with a high and tight flag running into the close and then moving sideways and after hours there's something similar that could occur here in ape here we are i have a b and c labeled leading to 320 that was a great target i'm learning that's very common to see wave c extend to 161.8 percent i've been going over the charts in uh, the Elliott wave principle by frost and pressure and i see that quite often so where are we at now? We're in a downtrend. It's very channel -y. It looks very motive, like a wave A. Wave B may occur soon near that $1.20 level. It could happen now even, although I would doubt if it would. That wave B is supposed to be very weak, retracing about 28 or 32% of that wave A height, which is not very high. Then what follows would be a crushing wave down to C. Maybe we see a bear flag form through here before we get that C. But again, we have an ABC, ABC, three, three, and then five may follow where five would be here, be pointing up, perhaps touching, challenging that downtrend and maybe even breaking 320. Of course, that's ridiculous because Ape's going to be converted into AMC. So what does that mean for, for the, the meme stocks? I don't know. Going back to SPY though. So again, looking for another push higher, 392.24 would be a corrective ABC target. I expect to see that broken. I'm calling bullish reversal at that same level, and that's based off of the uh, valley of uh, an impulse down from, wow, forever ago. Let's not go into it. SLV, this is really what I want to focus on today. I did a whole bunch of analysis here because I had to figure out what was going on. I was looking for these waves higher, and today we did get a wave higher, a push up to 2050. My target was 2044 from a couple days ago. Remember that? I took profits off the table. I sold all the calls, and then I opened up a new set of calls as price dropped. But I was I was early, you know. I was I was uh, I was really early. Price continued to fall, and I think what's actually happening through here is we're gonna we're gonna form a half staff formation. And on the hourly time frame on another chart, I have it shown. It's possible that we actually have a very short second wave on the minute degree, which could lead to another bullish push higher to 2209 or even 2346. Again, these are levels that I've been targeting on a different time frame. Let me open up the hourly and go into another chart. And it's based on this diamond right here. There is some bearish divergence forming through here, but that bearish divergence will always form when the price is making a lot of strong pushes higher as price retraces. In after hours, we can see now the price is beginning to hug the uptrend that was set from the high we found this morning. I'm fairly optimistic if if this is a going to reverse bearishly the targets are um let's see here Let pull up this other chart 1973 and then 1943 so to the downside i don't have nearly as much action as i do to the upside and so i'm holding some more calls and i'm just going to hold on for dear life this of course is all in the context of the dollar I've been talking about the dollar's correlation to equities and SLV. And right now, I think the dollar might be reversing. I called this, this is bullish bounce. I called it the dollar bounce from hell, but I think it might actually be over. I found a very complicated ABC pattern through here. If you go back and watch my other videos, I said, yeah, we could probably figure it out. Here it is. I figured it out. It's 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 like a, a is formed by a single three, B is formed by a double three, and then C is like a triple three. It just it's just like so complicated. Could you make it more complicated? No, you really couldn't. And when I did this analysis, I found that the top at 105.9, this actually fits very well into a fourth wave retracement where the big falling wedge, I'll zoom out to show that, is actually wave one, two, three, and this breakout gives us four. 
and we're looking for five to form next, which would push down relatively to the same height as wave one, which I'm saying is about 114 minus 110, so maybe four dollars, so to speak. It's the, these are price le they're levels. They're not they're not really dollars, right? This is you get it. But four dollars from 105 takes us down to 101, which is quite low, and that 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 kind of uh, price action to the downside would bring us to a 50% retracement of the rally that started in 2021. Very good, very good. This would give us a good context for a SPY rally, for SLV to rally, for all the things to rally. I don't know if that's gonna hold true for meme stocks. If you're paying attention here closely, you'll notice I'm starting to watch the MACD a little more. We're about to get that bearish cross on the hourly here. So I'm watching the dollar very closely into tomorrow. I'll do another market update tomorrow morning. We'll talk about what happened in after hours and pre-market. But right now, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for liking, subscribing, doing all the things. You guys are awesome. Join the Discord if you're not in the Discord. I'm out of here.